While the rest of the internet was busy defending PewDiePie against the fake news, aka the hack frauds at the Wall Street Journal, yeah, they can go fuck themselves. We were busy. Hey, weren't we supposed to give a PlayStation 4 away? Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot. Sorry, um, what actually happened was I went on vacation immediately after Christmas, after New Year's, for like two or three weeks, and then right after that I came back and then I got immediately sick right after the contest ended, and I was in pretty bad shape. I needed antibiotics to get out of it, and it almost turned into pneumonia, so that was pretty, um, incredible that that happened right after vacation. And then after that, I had some loose ends uh, to tie up. But now, we are finally back after 50 days of hiatus from YouTube. J-I-M-B-O-T-H-Y is back, and yes, for those of you who entered the PlayStation 4 contest giveaway for Christmas, the winner will be announced at some point in this video you're watching right now. Yes, that's correct. It feels good. It feels good to be back, baby. Oh my God. And while being back, I decided we need to find a new cool thing that people were wanting to watch online. And what is more fun, aside from the winter shenanigans that are freezing everyone's nose off, and a countdown of 10. 10 of the greatest and scariest water slides in the universe. Roll the connector. Yes, that's right. 10 of the scariest water slides on the planet Earth right now. And be sure to check out the original videos featured in this video. They will all be listed in the information section below if you're interested in checking out more or learning more about the subject matter covered in this video. Starting our list off at number 10, Jumaira Skyra. What a great name. It's like Jumanji, but not at all like that. This is the gem of the Wild Wadi Water Park in Dubai. The Jumaira Skyra is one of the craziest water slides on the planet Earth. I don't know if they have water slides on the planet Mars. Don't want to go look. You pee down a water slide, you're causing a very bad thing to happen. The ride itself features two tracks, which starts off with you going down a plexiglass uh, coffin and watching in horror as the British lady counts down. Suddenly the floor retracts and you're taking at speeds up to 88 miles per hour. Dr. Emmett Brown would be pleased. The ride itself features a second, smaller drop before depositing riders into the wave pool, where in which they can collect themselves from the eternity of experiencing the amazingness that Jumairo Skyra offers. We rate this ride 10 slides out of seven. And at number nine on our list, next up, the Kilimanjaro. Oh my God, wouldn't this be a great stripper name? Not at all. Located at the Aguas Quientes Country Club in Rodovia, Brazil, an absolute monster awaits us. He gonna cut you, Holmes? Wow, incredibly insensitive in these trying and terrible times. Named after the Tanzanian mountain range and aptly titled at 164 feet, Mount Kilimanjaro is the tallest water slide in the world. Requiring no raft or flotation capsule, this is a free body water slide. And what that means is you go down it wearing only your hopes and and you're fierce, and those show up when the dye in the water turns purple after you The locals don't dare venture up here. In fact, around a third of the people who actually climb the 164 feet never actually take the full ride. And I don't blame them! Shit looks scary, fam! People say you don't actually touch the water slide during the free fall until the bottom. That's how steep that shit is. And absolutely impressive. I can't believe this thing is still open. The place looks dilapidated in all the pictures and the videos. I wouldn't let anyone go up there. At the number eight spot 
Insano. Oh, better live up to your name. At 41 meters tall, the equivalent of 14 stories in Fortezela, Brazil, sets the indomitable Insano. Insano sends riders down at around 65 miles an hour. The ride only lasts a few seconds before riders plunge into the bottom, but it's so freaking steep, man, that I don't even know how to react to this. You can see some original footage shot. This looks pretty crazy. I wouldn't want to go down this one personally. Uh, it seems very, 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 very scary. The Insano truly lives up to its name, always featured on the top water slide lists. It is one of the greats in the world. Located in Brazil, you'll have a tough choice between picking between this one and the Kilimanjaro. Number seven. Next water slide is Summit Plummet. Located at the top of Blizzard Beach in fabulous Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. Just take I-95 down and then on to four, and then loop yourself and get lost in the forests of Ocala. Near where Eileen Waitos buried the body. <laughs> That's why I take 75 down and go on four. There you go. Or if you're on the East Coast, 95. Summit Pumba is a 12-story water slide adorning the top of the mountain at Blizzard Beach. What does that even mean? Now, Blizzard Beach features a wintry solstice theme, not unlike your experience here in our actual seasonal climate, with actual snow adorning the mountain. How does it melt in the Florida climate? Well, I don't know. I kind of made that fact up. But that doesn't mean you should not go on this slide. What it actually looks like is totally awesome. There's a little hut at the top of the mountain. It looks like there's a ski jump slope. Like if you've seen the movie, Eddie the Eagle, which I know none of you have, they have a giant ski jump you can go down. This is what it looks like, but it's not the ski jump. It's actually the water slide. But then when the riders fly off and die, that's the trick, Jimbo. They cut the hole at the bottom so you go through the mountain because that's what it means. Put a hole in the mountain. The slide itself is modeled after a ski jump. However, riders go underneath the ramp instead of off of it. It repels riders down at a solid 60 miles an hour, almost vertically down. This is a very fast slide, but an enjoyable one nonetheless. Easily the highlight, the gem, if you will, of Blizzard Beach at Walt Disney World. Orlando, Florida, I know where to see you kissing me. Use promo code JIMBO5 to get yourself five days off at Disney World. Please do not enter this. This is not an actual promotion. I don't think it will work, but if it does, you know who to thank for that. Hater! Number six. Next up, the Walhalla Wave. Found at the Aquatica Water Park in SeaWorld in San Antonio, Texas. There's another one in Orlando. These two might be interchangeable water slides. The Walhalla Wave is a family-oriented water slide allowing multiple people to ride on a super tube cruising down the six stories of maze-like tubes before sending riders careening up into what Aquatica calls the zero gravity wall. Oh boy! Essentially, this is a vertical incline that makes the clover raft seem as if it were flying as it gets you close to the edge. Some of the reviews for this seem pretty sketchy. The one lady's like, I almost fell off the side of your water slide. Uh, I don't know if I should sue. I wrote, you better lawyer up, bitch! <coughs> Walhalla Wave, only at Aquatica, San Antonio, Texas, where they have lots of water. This water slide actually looked pretty fun. Uh, it seemed like you were going down just these hugely massive tubes as you careened down. I thought this looked pretty cool. A lot of water slides seem very like compact. This one seems like it's meant for a whole family to go down. Additionally, what makes this water slide even cooler is that it has uh, special needs access for concerns. So. 
people who have special needs access or accessibility concerns can actually ride this water slide and enjoy a theme park amusement ride. Most of these rides don't seem to have concern for accessibility, but this one does, and I thought that was a nice touch. In the top five at number five, the Sky Calibur! Found in the hidden oasis that is Action Park, located in the lovely Jersey. We have the 90 foot monstrosity that came straight out of my nightmares a vertical a drop slide with what else could it be? Perhaps. Something you never even saw coming. A 360 degree loop. Taking the laws of physics, inverting that shit out into something impossible and wearing its skin as it walks around. Looking for people to find, to make friends with. Hey, this isn't Halloween. You can't just do that. Because that is scary, my friends. So riders get into this rectangular <clears throat> capsule. And suddenly the floor thing drops out, sending the capsule and the lockdown rider inside at 50 miles per hour and into the 360 degree loop. This shit is insane, okay people? I don't understand how this even works. How the hell are you gonna go up a looping slide? What happens if you fuck up and you start going back down the other way? And then another one comes, and another, and another one, another one, another one? Insane, of course, seems to be the modus operandi of Action Park, Jersey City. In the 80s was known for having another, whoa, how original, looping water slide. This time called the Cannonball Loop. It was crazy, it was epic, people got seriously fucking hurt on it, so there was that. But Sky Caliber is just this. But bigger. It, what else do you want me to say? It's in Jersey. What do they call it? A water slide? Down there in Jersey? Because that's how they pronounce water? I don't even know anymore. Number four, the Verruckt. Located at the Schittler Bond. What kind of name is that? Water park and amusement facility in Great Kansas. The Verruckt, also German for crazy, not the Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies map. Water slide is the largest in the world. Standing at an impressive 168 feet, the 17 story drop propels brave riders down at a ridiculous 70 miles an hour. Not quite back to the future speeds. Dr. Emmett Brown is not impressed. Absolutely insane though, uh, the ride itself is encased with these metal rings designed to keep the raft in place. As during the initial test results, the raft would actually fly the fuck off the slide and prove to be quite unsafe. And as you can see, the ride only lasts a few seconds, but what a blast that was! You have to get on a raft with a whole bunch of people and simply proceed down the acrylic tube filled with water. Ooh. As we mentioned earlier, the metal hoops and dang were designed originally to keep rafts from flying off of the slide during the safety tests. And it would actually prove to be a much worse idea than intended when on August 7th, 2016, the unthinkable happened. During this time, the 10-year-old son of Kansas State Representative Scott Schwab was killed while riding. With uneven weight distribution being cited as the main reason for this accident, what happened was the boy was placed at the front of the raft with two adults at the back. This caused a weight distribution unevenness during the slide's freefall which essentially caused the raft to lose contact with the slide surface itself and take off. It hit the metal hoops and netting, which unfortunately decapitated the boy, uh, killing him. Uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to Scott Schwab and his son Caleb. This is an unfortunate and tragic accident that I imagine that no parent should ever have to deal with. It's a very sad note that happened on this water slide list. After the accident, the Schlitterbahn water and amusement facility was temporarily closed and the Vrucked water slide was slated for demolition naturally after causing this terrible accident. Um, our thoughts and prayers go out to Scott Schwab. Uh, no parent should have to ever go through this. 
We feel sorry for the loss of his 10-year-old son, Caleb. And at number three is the Aqueduct. Oh my god, this is the craziest water slide on our list. Opened in 2011 and our only water coaster on this list, the Aqueduct. The Aqueduct ain't located in any one theme park, but rather on two Disney cruise ships. Yes. Walt Disney strikes again with an amazing water thing. The Disney Dream and the Disney Factory are the two cruise ships you can find the Aqueduct on. And oh boy, are they great. The whole ride is an incredible 765 foot journey around the top and the sides of the cruise. It features transparent acrylic tubes which allow the riders to go around the ship on an elevated tour around the entirety of the ship. Now the acrylic tubes are transparent which allows you to see through them at the other parts of the ship and or the ocean which is filled with sea creatures that'll kill you. At its height, the aqueduct rests 150 feet off the ocean surface. Totally amazing, I would hate to fall off of it. I don't know what would happen. You probably would get caught in the propeller. Never mind. Aqueduct uses these cool water jets to shoot the rafts upward at around 20 feet per second. It's an actually cool and chill ride featuring incredible live sections in the more isolated parts alongside the aforementioned acrylic tubing allowing you to see both the ocean and the ship decks below. You actually go through 330 feet of rapids and then into the lazy river before going to the final raft return uh, pool deposit, which is pretty awesome. In storms and rough conditions though, the aqueduct does not actually operate this entirely for safety concerns. Pretty obvious if the cruise ship hit a massive swell could knock riders into the ocean, which would be disastrous. At night though, which is pretty awesome, the ride illuminates with a cool lighting setup enticing riders to take the plunge. The aqueduct cannot be missed. I thought this was a cool addition to the list. You never really see water slides out on cruise ships. This is the first of its kind and it's on two of them. Thank you, Disney! Hey, that's pretty uh, good. At number two, second place. The Scorpion's Tail, borrowing elements from Jamera Scara and adding the most insane twist you'd never see coming. Spoiler alert, you will. At Noah's Ark Water Park in Wisconsin, Wisconsin, sits the ever frightening Scorpion's Tail, standing in an impressive 10 stories tall. The Scorpion's Tail features a drop floor coffin box that Jamira Skyra has which tricks out riders so they never know when they're gonna get dropped in the water slide and sends them hurling through acrylic tubes at around 30 miles per hour at a near vertical shoot of 55 feet. You then immediately enter the loop section repelled only by yourself, the water, and gravity. Going back up 27 feet in the air at a 60 degree angle, hopefully you make it through the loop with all your pieces intact as you continue down the remainder of the slide, ending at a whopping 400 feet. The ride itself lasts only 14 seconds, making it one of the fastest water slides on our list. But my question is, what happens if you don't make it through the loop? Okay, is no one else asking that? Has the whole world gone crazy? Well, according to Sarah Blanchan's blog, Esperanza, she didn't actually make it. Done! No, you wanna know what really happened? She made it through. She made it inside the inside of the looping section, but started to slide back down to the entry part of the loop. And her husband started freaking out naturally, and the ride stopped for a bit. This isn't Willy Wonka. You can't just do this to people. You can't just mess around with people, Wonka! Evidently. Sarah Blanchan had to crawl backwards where there was a trap door located and staff members escorted her out of the slide and down a staircase. This is truly frightening. Um, it seems like she wasn't a big water slide enthusiast. enthusiast. However, she was a good sport 
in keeping up with this and managed to make it out in one piece. It was actually a pretty cool encounter to read about. I'm glad she managed to make it out of the water slide completely safe and uninjured. No one wants that at an amusement park. These are places designed to have fun and enjoy yourself, not get hurt and angry. And finally, at number one, the Leap of Faith Atlantis, located at the Atlantis Aquaventure Parks in both Bahamas and Dubai, sits the incredible Leap of Faith 60 foot water slide at the top of the Mayan Temple. This slide shoots riders down a near vertical 80 degree slope out the front of the facade of the Mayan temple. Down the tube and into the shark infested lagoon. Yes, that's right. There's actual sharks inside the lagoon. Riders travel at speeds of around 35 miles per hour through the misty free fall and into the acrylic tube underneath the shark tank. As we know before, acrylic tubes are all transparent, allowing riders to see up into the, what could be their impending doom. Ooh, the sharks are real. Megalodon is here! And yes, live sharks are actually in the tank swimming over those brave enough to take the plunge on the leap of faith but you can't actually see them underneath the mist there's like a mist glow so when you go down the water slide at first you don't see them until it's too late this is one of the coolest water slides on our list by far having the shark infested lagoon over you as you cream down underneath it and into the wading pool and seeing the giant mayan temple which looks absolutely impressive architecturally as the facade for the whole slide makes this even better it's like a giant sort of sacrificial thing where they throw you into the shark tank but you actually go underneath it i mean who would have thought of that and you come out of this little pirate thing it's awesome i gotta say i'm very impressed with this water slide on this list now there was one crazy encounter or accident that happened on this water slide in 2008 a shark actually breached the pool around the slide jumping onto the slide itself. The female reef shark continued down the acrylic tube and into the recovery pool at the bottom, wherein it died a short time later due to the chlorine in the water. This freaky incident has led to a larger metal barricade being placed around the slide shaft so animals can't leap from the saltwater lagoon into the chlorinated pool slide and their unfortunate deaths should they do so. This poor shark unfortunately committed suicide when it freaked out and jumped from its own tank and onto the slide itself. So there was more safety precautions put in place to keep the animals from getting accidentally injured, uh, accidentally injuring riders. Unfortunately, this accident happened at night, so no one was able to save the reef shark. So it's pretty sad that that happened, but uh, hopefully the new metal barricades are in place to make sure that it never happens again. Uh, you don't need wild animals taking their own lives because they get spooked by something and going down into this chlorine which essentially is poison for animals filled pool where they won't be able to breathe so that was a big animal safety concern for the water slide and that concludes our list the top 10 scariest water slides on the planet earth you won't believe are real i hope you found this enjoyable and for be sure to leave a like and share on your social media platforms. I want to know which water slide you guys would want to go down if you had the chance to go down only one of them. Or if you've been down another one, let me know in the comments section below. And I will see you guys. Oh, wait, the PS4 giveaway! So again, I want to apologize to all you people who entered the giveaway. I'm not saying... <laughs> Wow, that made me look super guilty. No, I'm just apologizing for the delay. Uh, as I mentioned earlier at the start of this video, I did go on vacation. When my vacation ended is when the end of the giveaway, I mean, the contest was happening. And the giveaway was supposed to happen very shortly after. However, I got sick. I had a long drive during that um, vacation period. And I actually ended up getting, well, contracting bronchitis. It almost turned into pneumonia. 
Uh, I know this is an excuse, but I was out of it for a long time because of that. And what happened in the end is we've been off YouTube for a grand total of 50 days. I don't know anyone who could manage that, but I think we're doing it fairly certainly fine. But I think we're doing all right. Who's the winner? When are we going to find out the winner? Well, you're going to find out right now. The winner of the PlayStation 4 giveaway is... Da -da -da -da. Eric XD Cool TK. Congratulations! You just won yourself a new PS4 Pro. Send me a DM. We're going to ship this out to you very soon. Congratulations on winning yourself a new PlayStation 4 Pro Edition, Eric. Uh, this has been a great contest. Thank you everyone who entered and took time to share my videos and entered. Thank you everyone who entered this contest. It's been an amazing experience. Um, and don't don't get upset if you didn't win this. I'm planning on probably giving more away. If you guys think I should give another PlayStation 4 away in the future, let me know in the comment section below as well. Or leave a like on this video. It'll give me a good indicator if I should continue giving it away. Because I don't want just one of you to win. I want everyone to win. Everyone needs to win at least once in their life. And I hope to see every one of you back in our next video.